Capital systems online. I have no idea what direction it's in. I'm gonna go ahead and guess. I seem to remember the Grand Reef. But I also remember the entrance to the Blood Kill Zone being in the Sparse Reef. So I honestly, I'm not even sure anymore. But we're gonna head this way. I don't need that marked anymore. That's the Jelly Shroom Cave entrance. I don't need that marked anymore. Bye bye. Okay. Oh, God. I am so unbelievably terrified. I just have this sinking feeling in my gut that I'm about to meet a new Leviathan. And I don't like it. Because we haven't even faced off with the Reaper yet. Like, come on now. We've seen it off in the distance and I ran away like a little pussy, but... <laughs> you know, I have all the pieces to the stasis rifle as well. I had one of you on my, uh... Good god, are we really having frame rate issues already? One of you on my channel asked if you can scan the Reaper Leviathan. Uh, the answer is yes. Yes, you can scan the Reaper Leviathan. I have done it in the past, and it pretty much requires the stasis rifle. <laughs> so, oh my god, the frames, really? I just saved the blood cup. I suppose I could tell you that one story. Um, I was, again, once I gained the courage to go out towards the Aurora at night again, um, I was looking for Metal Salvage, because that was my go-to place for Metal Salvage, was the Aurora. And I had a stasis rifle with me, and I had my proximity shocker at this point on my CMOS. And I was at, I'd been bumping into shit like an idiot, so I was a good, I don't know, I, I was at probably around like 50-60% integrity, hull integrity on my CMOS, which isn't great. And then, all of a sudden, I heard that roar again, right in my ear. I flipped my shit, hit every button on my controller, just like, yeah. Accidentally jumped out of my Seamoth as the Leviathan grabbed it. So it's like thrashing my Seamoth around. Hello, you're not loaded. And it's literally like whittling my, my health down on my Seamoth. And at that point again, I've never lost a Seamoth in this game. And I was just like, no you fucking don't. And I went full John Wick. I pulled out my stasis rifle, fired it, hit the Le Reaper Leviathan square in the mouth. Which, in case you don't know, the stasis rifle freezes whatever's in the bubble it creates on impact. Uh, it freezes it in place. So I hit the Reaper Leviathan square in the mouth with the, with the stasis rifle, which freezed it in place. Jumped back into my Seamoth with the Reaper. It still The Reaper still had my Seamoth in its jaws at this point. I jumped back in, triggered the proximity shocker, the Reaper Leviathan let go, and I, and I got away. With, like, probably, like, 12% health left. But, yeah. And I'm swimming away like... <laughs> like, how did I do that? <laughs> it was amazing. And it's one of my proudest moments in all of gaming. It had my Seamoth in its clutches, and I jumped back in. It was so, like... I was just like, why did I do that? How did it work? And, oh my god, I'm still alive. <laughs> and I went right back to my base and re repaired my Seamoth in the moonwalk. So, yeah, that's the thing that happened to me pretty cool. So we're back in the Grand Reef. Uh, here's the Sea Treaders path. Hey, guys. Duh. They're so cool. The Sea Treaders are another creature that are, well, to say they're completely docile is a bit of a lie, because if you do get too close, they will hit you. But, uh, yeah. They, they, they just kind of, yeah, they, they won't attack me unless I get too close. They won't fuck with me if I don't fuck with them. I believe, yeah, that's a thing. Yeah, he's I'm too close, he's not happy. But they they create outcrops and stuff that you can harvest. But for now, we'll leave them alone. Uh, we'll go deeper, because we can go 900 meters. We are 400 meters below the surface. We have never been this far down below the surface in Subnautica before, guys. This is all brand new territory, and god do I hope the ghost leviathan doesn't spawn out here, because boy, that would suck, wouldn't it? Okay, I figured that the ghost was going to be way down, but I don't know how far down. The Blood Kelp Zone and the Lost River are among the deepest biomes in the game, so yeah, I figured...
figured he's probably down there, if anywhere. Uh, I'm still looking for stuff. I'll take some more salt. I will always take more salt. I don't need a scanner room fragment. Then all the good stuff is inside. Can you tell I'm stalling? <laughs> I really don't want to go down any further. I'm so scared. I went from only being able to go down 300 meters to 900 like that. I have not had a chance to mentally prepare myself for this endeavor. But we're going to do it anyway. After I check in here. Oh, please. Oh, that's the drill arm. Awesome. That's going to be something for the next set of episodes I'm going to do, is we're going to build the prawn suit. Or maybe we'll do it at the end of this one. Who knows? I do still have my laser cutter, do I not? Fuck no, I don't. I'm such a goddamn idiot. GRAPPLING ARM! Okay. Well, I'm an idiot, and I didn't bring my laser cutter. I put it away, and I forgot to grab it again. I'm so stupid. So I'm going to put my beacon... No, I won't. I'll just make a mental note of how far away it is from my base and in which direction. New blueprint acquired. New blueprint acquired. Oh, storage map. Yeah, I don't give a shit. Okay, that looks like everything I can access for now because, again, I'm an idiot that didn't bring her laser cutter. So, yeah. Okay, let's see. We're 420 meters below the surface. So far away from my base in the northeastern-ish direction. Yeah, look at this. Volcanic tubage. I am getting low on ruby as well, so maybe I'll grab some. Ow, it's hot. Ow, it's hot. Ow, it's hot. Didn't wither down my health though. Interesting. Maybe I can. Maybe I can take it for a couple seconds before it actually starts to like breach through my suit. I don't know. Gotta find it. Don't don't bitch out, Nene. You gotta find it. There's also uh, another something that we can totally check out. If I can find it. <sighs> oh, really? Really? Here. Right now? Right here, right now. Oh, God, I think I found it, guys. I think I found it. No! Go away! I don't want my viewers to see what you do when I let you get too close, because, oh, it hurts. It hurts, and it sucks, and it hurts, and I... Stop it with those noises! He's literally not going away. Don't you shoot your freaking portal bombs at me! You asshole! Can you fuck off? Thank you. Okay, we're gonna go down now. I think we found it. Oh my god. Warning, entering ecological death zone. Adding report to databank. Crater edge? Well, that's new. I'm gonna go back up, just in case the warper freaking warps me. Ah! Ah! What the fuck are you doing right there? Oh my god, you're a lot higher up than I expected you to be! Okay. Well, that was the Ghost Leviathan, ladies and gents. Oh god, I was expecting him to be down there. Not up here! Not at 300 whatever meters! Crater edge? Can I read about the crater edge now? Can I do that? Please. Please and thank you. My heart is on fire right now. That's, that really, really scared me. I was not expecting him. I just turned around and it was right there! Oh fuck, dude. Steep decline in all directions. No fucking shit. Consistent with the theory that the aurora crashed on the edge of a 2 by 2 kilometer volcanic crater. It has likely been millennia since an eruption reached the surface, encouraging the ecosystem within the crater to flourish. The ecology of the trench surrounding the crater supports only two kinds of life, microscopic and leviathan. Oh! Oh! Exploration is ill-advised! You know what that means! There was never a crater in this game a year and a half ago, by the way. Crater? That is, this is brand new. God. 
It's taking every fiber of my will <laughs> to hold down R1 right now. So is this the entrance to the Blood Kelp Zone? Or is there literally nothing but a ghost leviathan down here? This is a big fucking mistake, but I'm doing it anyway. I'm gonna stay close to the wall. Oh no, wait, I think there did used to be a crater here. But I always figured it was just the edge of the map. Like, the area that... It's behind me, it's behind me, it's behind me, it's behind me, it's behind me. Do I dare turn it? You know what? No, I don't- Okay, yep, 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 nope, I'm done, I'm done, I'm out of this bitch. I am fucking out of this bitch! Please don't- Oh god, yep, it's right there! You look a lot bigger up closer! Oh my god, you're ginormous! You are creepy, you are disturbing, you move because you're in the game and I don't like you, I'm gonna go, oh god, ah! Stop killing me! Ah! <laughs> oh boy, you hurt, you hurt a lot. Okay, ow, I went from 100 to 58 in one hit. I went from 100 to 58 in one hit. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my, okay, you know what, you can't see I didn't do it, you can't see I didn't do it, fuck that shit, we're never going down there again. Ever! Welcome aboard, Captain. I always thought that crater was just like the end of the map, which I guess, which I guess maybe it is, but like, oh uh, god, I just figured that was like an area that wasn't complete yet, and so I just kind of like, you could go down, like all the way down, and there was nothing there. It was literally just a hole in the ground. But I guess they, they, they put something in the hole now. Fuck me. Oh my god, that's the most scared I've ever been in a really long time. What the fuck? Okay, so I finally- I mean, I knew what the Ghost Leviathan looked like, but again, it was only off of screenshots. I've never, ever seen it move, and this crater is fucking huge. Yeah, nope, we're staying far away from that shit. FAR AWAY! We need to find the entrance to the Blood Kelp Zone and go down into the Lost River because there's another alien facility down there, which means the next step in, uh, you know, curing ourselves. Oh my god. Guys, do you see this right now? My hands are shaking so much. Oh, fuck you! I don't need you right now. Well, hi, sea treaders. I'll take you. You know what? You guys are much better. Oh, look, it's a baby. How cute. Do I have to go down into the crater? I literally just gotta chill up my spine. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I can't. I don't have the heart in me to do that. So I'm not gonna do it. Also, there's a warper over there, so screw you. Ow. And with the third leviathan, besides the ghost, that I have encountered... What the fuck is this? I got a good look at the other Damage leviathan. Plant life on the sea floor suggests this may be the migration path of a huge, bottom-dwelling life form. It's the sea treaders. We, we, the sea treaders. Here they are. They're over here. Ooh. Okay, well, I think we're on the right track if we're in caves. But yeah, these, these guys are cool. These guys are cool. But, uh, yeah, I got a good look at the other Leviathan from really far away. I heard it first. Again, I heard that one first. And I was just like, oh boy, whatever that is, it sounds big. I found deep shrooms. I found deep shrooms. I don't need to go down into the blood kelp zone. I don't need to do it. I'm just gonna grab as much as I can fucking carry and maybe scan it. attack-inducing adventure of my entire motherfucking life! Okay, what was I saying? Right, I got a really, really... I, I heard the I heard the, the Leviathan first, and I was just like, well, that's probably not our Leviathan, because it sounds huge. And then I saw it off in the distance, way off in the distance, and I was just like, oh my god, what the fuck? But I was expecting to see it. This time, I literally just turned around, and it was up my ass, and proceeded to chase me, through an abyss of darkness, kind of like this, and 
the that was not cool. Of all the Leviathans I've experienced in this game, Ghost now holds number one of the most terrifying thing. There it is. That's the blood kelp. Okay, okay, okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop right here and I'm gonna be an idiot. I'm gonna jump out of my sea moth. My inventory's so full of tea shrooms. I don't wanna come back here. I'm gonna put it right here. And I'm gonna edit the name. Blood Kelp. There we go. Ah, uh, Z's over here. Zone. Okay, there we go. That's the entrance to the Blood Kelp Zone. It's right there. I can find it super easy now. Oh, this music. This music's really cool. Uh, what am I doing? Right, I'm gonna change the color of the beacon. Oh, really? What gave that away? <sighs> Make it yellow. Okay. I don't want to go down there. But I'm here. And I've got food and water. So I might as well do it. I'm gonna put some shrooms in here. Guys. I don't think my heart can take this, but we're going in. These guys are cool. The blood kelp, it's super cool. Now I can pick up the, like, blood... that stuff. I can pick up that stuff. This place looks radically different than I remember. Oh god. I can bring some blood kelp up to the surface and grow it, but I honestly don't know what it's used for. I can't salvage that part. Oh god. This looks so different than what I'm used to. And now I'm just expecting to see horrible, terrible new things everywhere ever since I encountered the ghost. Oh my god, it's so far. You would think a thing the size of the ghost leviathan wouldn't be able to sneak up on me, and it totally did. I turned around and it was right there. This place looks so different. All this, like, glowing stuff on the rocks? Never saw that before. We're here. This is it. I did not expect us to be able to see this... ...this soon. Oh, and especially those guys. Did you guys see that guy? <laughs> Suck my dick. You scared the shit out of me. Did you guys see it? Because I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I didn't expect us to be able to get here this soon. That's a crab spit. And they suck. That's exactly why they suck! Oh god. They make awesome sounds. Of all the sounds creatures make in this game. These guys' sounds, among, also with the reefbacks, are my favorites. But, the reefbacks are cool. These guys are not. I didn't expect us, I don't know what part of the playthrough we're at right now, guys. I did not expect us to be here this soon. But we're here. We're in the Lost River. 700 years. Oh, it all looks so finished and glowy! <gasps> Look at all this! Oh, now I have a message. Okay, now that I'm how many meters away from my base? Hmm, let me check. Uh, where- DNA scans indicate this biome contains unusually high concentrations of organic and fossilized remains. What gave that away? Yep, we're pretty damn far away from my base right now. Oh, hello. Oh, hello! Oh, hello there! What are you? 
oh, you look like something that could totally be, like, in our own oceans, which is unsettlingly terrifying. Ooh, do I... No, you know what? I'm not gonna. I'm 700 meters below the surface. I don't want to really pick a fight with anything right now. Dude, there's a volcanic vent on this thing now? Oh, dude, this looks... This all looks so complete. It's cool. And if we follow this rib cage far enough... Ooh, he's... Oh, God, another one? You look unusually tiny compared to this thing. Yeah, this guy used to be on his side. They propped the skull upright this time. Cool, Leo. I don't really want to stick around too long because there's a fucking ghost leviathan right there. Okay. Bye! If I remember right, the facility at this depth is this way, so I'm just gonna go this way. <laughs> See ya, ghost leviathan. It looks so small compared to that skull. And again, the most unsettling thing about this skeleton here, this thing used to be alive. Can I scan it? Now I gotta answer my own question. Fuck. Can I scan? We definitely did not used to be able to scan this thing. Can I scan it? just waiting for it to spawn in front of me, because that's the thing that used to happen. Little biases just spawn right in front of you. Hey there, go away. Um, I think it knows I'm here! It looks so small compared to this thing, and it's still terrifying! Please be, please Leave me alone, please leave me alone. Okay, I got it. No, no, no time like the present, Day Day. Oh my god, I can scan it. Oh my god, I can scan it. Shit, that means you gotta hang out here longer. Where the fuck is it? Oh god, you know what? I'm gonna look after I'm not exposed. Welcome aboard, Captain. Okay, I, I scanned the skeletal remains. I'm gonna go find a safe place where there isn't a ghost leviathan hanging around. Oh god! Oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm at 87% integrity, I just noticed. I should probably repair, but I'm gonna get away from here first. And then I'm gonna read that database entry. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I am so on edge down here now. There used to be, like, I, I recognize all these fossils and all this stuff. Like, the skeleton, the giant skeleton and everything. But there were never any enemies down here. So I could just take pictures and, like, swim around and stuff. And it was great and scary and spooky. But now I'm just like, oh god, everything's gonna fucking murder me. Fauna, deceased, gargantuan fossil. There it is. Okay. The fossilized remains of an extinct, thank god, super predator. Its sheer size- this is new, by the way. We didn't- I didn't used to be able to scan this thing. So now I can finally learn more about it. And it is extinct. Thank god. I was never sure. Its sheer size would have prohibited it from entering such an enclosed space, suggesting the geography of the planet has shifted around it over time. A true apex predator. Dated at approximately 3 million years old. Ribcage measurements suggest the creature was eel-like in structure. Really? Calculations suggest this is only the front third of the specimen. The remains now support a vibrant micro microcosm of life. Note, there are a series of precise angular indentations on the ribcage, suggesting a third party has taken samples from the specimen at a previous time. Does that mean somebody else was down here taking samples, or does that mean the literal, like, Star Wars quote, there's always a bigger fish? So, yeah, because, like, did this thing die of natural causes, like old age? Because if not, what killed it? I never used to be able to scan that thing. And it used to be on its side, too. Like, yeah. It didn't used to be propped up like that. It looks so much bigger when it's propped up like that. Okay, now if I remember right, the entrance to the facility is... 
You guys are cool. You're among my favorite creatures in the game. These are the ghost rays. Ugh. I don't know if that was a bug on the back of my armpit or if I'm just tingling with excitement and terror. I don't know. Mr. Ghost Ray, we're 800 meters below the surface, by the way. Just throwing that out at all y'all. Please don't swim too far away from my sea monster before I get scared. Please, 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 please. Can I stand here? Thank you. The ghost rays are cool, and they are also docile, so I can get super close to you and look at your organs, which are creepy. You're also bigger than I remember you being. Like, a lot bigger. You seem a lot bigger. Look at that. Oh, this all looks so different. I remember that fossil. I remember it. My sea mod, I mean, sea glide isn't equipped. Why? Nene, nee, don't be an idiot. There you go. Okay. Here we go. I remember that fossil down there. But it was just on like a flat space. And it didn't have waterfalls, waterfalls around it. Look at this. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's so beautiful. You're not. Go away. I swear, everything just seems bigger now. But, like, I think just by your skeletal structure. Ow, I'm burning. I think I know what you are. And you are most def- Yup, you are most definitely not extinct. Let's read up on you, shall we? Semi-intact skeletal structure of a Leviathan-class predator. The Sea Dragon Leviathan. That's the other Leviathan that I've been neglecting to share the name with. And this guy ain't extinct. Spoiler alert! There is clear evidence of massive physical trauma to the head. The damage is so severe it was likely the cause of death must have occurred somewhere nearby. <laughs> what does that mean? Did the ghost leviathan kill it? Probably. Damage is consistent with a high-speed collision with a solid object. Something in the environment has helped to preserve these remains, but calcium decay suggests an approximate time of death 1,000 years ago. Bone growth suggests the creature was in the egg-laying stage of its life cycle. Oh, fucking good. Yeah, remember what I said about it not being extinct? It's got babies. And, uh... uh... Ooh, you didn't used to be here. I remember. The facility is tucked away in a little corner like this, but these things are brand spanking new. Can I scan you? I'm gonna check. Ow, pardon, sorry, sorry, pardon, sorry. I can't talk. I'm too excited and scared and all things terrified. Okay, uh, I'm gonna take you as a sample after I scan you. Amoeboid? That's an interesting word. I'll take a sample if I can. Can I? Did I? Can I? Did I? No, I didn't. I guess I can't take samples. Interesting. Okay, well, let's read up on the amoeboid. I'm gonna die of dehydration down here. Non sentient organism found attached to land with high levels of fossilized organic matter. It feeds on this matter until it reaches maturity, at which point it divides to create two new genetically identical offspring, and the cycle continues. 